good morning good afternoon and good evening so today i got galaxy note 10 plus global variant exynos chipset so today i will show how to flash the one ui 6.1.21 rom from the scratch uh, right now my mobile phone is having one ui 4.21 the stock official firmware on my mobile phone having android version 12 so i will update my mobile phone from one ui 4.1 to one ui 6.1.21 from android 12 to android 14 to get the galaxy ai because one ui 6.1.21 have all these features and uh, i'm pretty sure that you are going to love your mobile phone after flashing the one ui 6.1.21 rom credit goes to the developer who did the hard work porting this rom for the galaxy note 10 series exynos chipset and keeping the mobile phone of galaxy note 10 alive still alive in 2024 starting the video how to flash the rom but before going ahead do not forget to like the video if you are getting help from my videos do not forget to subscribe my channel click or tap the bell icon click or tap the select all thank you so much so before going ahead i suggest to read the description because i have provided all the information that is provided by the developer must read the description to know that what are the change log or what are the things coming with the 6.1.1 just read here that every galaxy ai features are available this is awesome and also read more things about the rom what uh, change that coming with this rom also you can see that formatting data is to be expected and you need to read the notes if you are streaming app is crashing while playing a full hd content so you need to flash the volcano disabler file if this is a recovery flashable file in twrp right and if you want to revert back you need to do the same thing by flashing the volcano enabler file zip recovery file in twrp so those who like who like to have google message they can simply download from play store after flashing the rom and one important thing is that if you are restoring apps using smart switch make sure to uncheck the nox applications like a secure folder galaxy variable application and galaxy s health because if you forget to do the these things the mobile phone will stuck on the boot animation instruction also provided all you have to do is to check the description because you need to see that what issues are coming with this rom and if there is a fix available you can read the things from the description well the downloading link also provided in the description this is the download link and you need to check the password over here uh, copy the password from the description then click the link here the website will get open the server where the all the files are uploaded and then paste the password that i just copied from there and click send so here are the folders that uh, contain all the files now we have to download few things first of all click the roms folder then download the latest one well the previous version are also available here but we will go for the Inter eternity rom 3.01 ui 6.1.1 click this file the, the rom will start downloading then we'll go back and then click Odin folder and here few things that you have to note down i have provided uh, the, the the details about the samsung model with the code name you need to check so like for example the galaxy note 10 exynos code name is d1 galaxy note 10 5g exynos model number is d1x same way like galaxy note 10 plus d2s and galaxy note 10 plus 5g d2x you need to check the code name over here like i have uh, galaxy note 10 plus global variant this one i have this one so i will download the d2s Odin pack in the same way you need to check what model you have you need to go download the Odin pack according to the code name right my mobile phone code name is d2s i will go to the server and here is the file the eternity rom Odin pack 2.0 twrp also available with this Odin pack code name is d2s.tar i will click this link to start downloading the Odin pack then we'll go back and then click the repartition folder and you need to download both these files the cleaner file version 2 
the repartition file version 2 and I have downloaded all the files already. This is the D2S TWRP Audin Pack file, the ROM file 6.1.1, cleaner file v2, repartition file v2 and Audin file, Audin 3.14.1. Audin also available in the description. I will first uh, extract the Audin 3.14.1. Then I will open the extracted folder of Audin. I will double click the Audin file and you can click OK on this window. And then on Audin, you can click any slot. I will go for the AP. Then I will go back to my downloaded folder where I have uh, uh, downloaded all the files. And here we go. I will select the Audin pack file by double clicking on it so the Audin is ready to flash the file on the Galaxy Note series. So first of all connect internet on your mobile phone. On this screen on the software information click the build number for 7 times 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 developer mode has been enabled. I will go back to settings. I will tap software update and I will tap download and install. So my mobile phone is up to date. I just flashed the stock firmware latest version back on my mobile phone. Your software is up to date. Must check the software update for once after connecting the internet on the mobile phone. Then we'll go back and we'll go to developer options over here and then must turn on the OEM unlocking before flashing or before booting the mobile phone into Odin mode. Must turn on the OEM unlocking in developer options. Then go back and uh, we'll go to accounts and backup. In case if you are using Samsung account, sync your Samsung account once and then must remove it to avoid any issues. Same way, sync your Google account once and then must remove it to avoid any trouble later on. Then go back and then go to lock screen. Then turn off the lock screen by selecting the swipe. Now, the important thing is to check the mobile phone battery must be charged around 30, 40, 50 percent and then save all the internal storage data because the data will get formatted if you are flashing any custom ROM on the mobile phone. So save the data before uh, booting to the Audin mode, right? If you have done all these things, you can simply power off the mobile phone. Now it is time to boot the mobile phone into Odin mode. So the mobile phone must be power off. We need to unlock the bootloader first. Check the other side cable must be connected with computer. Now press and hold the volume up key and volume down key and then connect the cable with the mobile phone. You will see a warning screen then remove by uh, release both keys. On this screen, you can read that volume up long press for device unlock mode, right? So uh, press and hold the volume up key for little long. Then the unlock bootloader screen will get appears on the mobile phone. On this screen, you can read that uh, if you press volume up, it will unlock the bootloader. But if you don't want, you can just press the volume down key to cancel the installation. I need to unlock the bootloader. Now, one more thing I will do here because I have uh, done the procedure when I was in my stock firmware. I do not want to let my mobile phone boot back into the stock firmware. So I will press the volume up key once. The mobile phone will wait, it will unlock the bootloader and then it will restart automatically. So after pressing the volume up key, I will just wait. When mobile phone, mobile phone restart, then immediately I will press and hold, I will press and hold the volume up key, volume down key to boot the mobile phone once again into one screen. Okay, so I have, I will press the volume up key once. So it is started the procedure and now I will press and hold the volume up key, volume down key to bring the warning screen once again. I will release both keys. On this screen, you can see volume up key to continue. Press the volume up key once to boot the mobile phone into or Audin mode. Let me show the Audin mode screen now. Just check the Audin mode screen. It's supposed to be like this. Uh, KG state must show checking. FRP lock must show off the oem lock must show off in a bracket you will see you these are the things that is supposed to be like this so the the, uh, the recovery and the rom will get flash perfectly right 
Now the set is booted into Odin mode, connected already with the computer. Coming back towards the computer screen, if you have installed already the Samsung USB driver, the Odin will detect the mobile phone. This sign means that Odin detected and also Odin shows that mobile phone added. Now on the Odin screen, click options, then untick the auto reboot and go back to log and then click start to start the Odin pack file on the mobile phone to start flashing the file. Now done, you will see pass message over here. Click reset, then click exit and go back to download it folder. Now coming back towards the mobile phone. Now just check that the cable must be connected in whole procedure. Now the mobile phone is booted still into Odin mode. Now we have to boot the mobile phone into TWRP. Press and hold the volume up key, volume down key and power key, right? Volume up key, volume down key, power key. When mobile phone restart, release the volume down key first. Okay, now when my mobile phone vibrates, then release the power key. Okay, Samsung logo appears. I have released the power key. Just wait here. Do not release the volume up key. And now you can release the volume up key. So the mobile phone will boot into TWRP. Maybe because my mobile phone was on stock firmware. So after booting to the TWRP, the recovery will do something and then it will automatically restart. I will wait here. I will see if the mobile phone automatically reboots into TWRP. Then it will. Then it's fine. Otherwise, I have to manually boot back the mobile phone into TWRP by pressing the keys. I will wait here. Well, the see a recovery screen appears because the mobile phone was stock on on stock from here that is why this thing is happening in case if, if you are on any custom rom so the mobile phone will boot straight away to the twrp it will not do the things that my mobile phone just did now swipe to allow modifications and uh, the internal storage will appear on the computer screen but you can see that the storage is encrypted why because the mobile phone was on the stock firmware that is why i will go back to main screen i just uh, load the brightness a little bit so we can see the things clearly now we have to decrypt the storage by tapping y and tap format data and type y e s now after tapping the years tab here so the data will get formatted then go back to main screen and tap reboot and tap recovery swipe to allow modifications and uh, this time you will see internal storage with a proper name and with a proper gb storage showing right we'll go to my downloaded folder and first of all i will copy the repartition file from the downloaded folder and must check that the repartition file must be version 2 copy the file for a repartition from the downloaded folder then go back to internal storage and paste the file over here and then come to the mobile phone screen tap install select the file by tapping on it and then swipe to flash it it will take a little time and the mobile phone will automatically reboot after flashing done it will reboot automatically to the twrp just wait here swipe to allow modification and uh, the storage must be encrypted once again you can see the storage uh, appears on the computer screen with not proper format right again tap y then tap format data type y e s tap here see these red lines and then go back when it is done then tap reboot and tap recovery swipe to allow modification and the storage appears once again now i will go back to my downloaded folder and i will copy the cleaner file version 2 from my downloaded folder then i will paste the file on the internal storage now come back to the recovery screen simply tap install select the cleaner file by tapping on it and then swipe to fl start flushing same thing the when it is done the recovery will automatically restart and will reboot to twrp right swipe to allow modifications 
and you can now go to settings to third menu and make the screen time out to maximum then we'll go back to the main screen and the internal storage appears once again right we'll go back to my downloaded folder and now it is time to copy the one ui 6.1.1 ported rom from the downloaded folder and we'll paste the rom file on the internal storage so the rom file got copied on the internal storage well right now i am done from the computer and if the service requires of the computer i will reconnect my mobile phone with the computer now it is time to flash the rom file tap install on the mobile phone screen then tap the rom file to select it and then swipe to start flashing it now the rom flashing will take a time so we have to wait and if you want you can disconnect the cable from the mobile phone flashing got completed simply tap reboot system the mobile phone will stay on this note 10 plus logo and then soon it will start booting to the ported rom First boot completed, complete the setup screen now. Well, well, well. Flashing got completed. Mobile phone got One UI 6.1.1. If I go to settings, the first thing you will see and you will notice on your settings interface that Galaxy AI. These things coming with the one ui 6.1.21 and surprisingly you can see the these things on your galaxy note 10 plus so finally the rom got flash very perfectly we'll go to about phone i got galaxy note 10 plus the model name or number got changed because the rom ported from the galaxy s22 ultra both i mean numbers present over here because i have a dual physical sim set, mobile phone set we'll go to software information now you can see that the mobile phone got updated from one ui 4.1 to 6.1.1 and wide version 14 it was before and y12 the google pay system update showing first jan jan 2024 it is supposed to be update and uh, the build number if you can see that right now it is eternity rom the latest version the portrait rom version 3.0 how to root this rom how to uh, update few things on this rom i will make another video enjoy the one ui 6.1.1 rom now i will fully test this rom then i will bring another video a review video of this rom do not forget to like the video and keep watching my videos stick with my channel by subscribing it we'll see you in my next video take a good care of yourself goodbye